What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Newcastle for the next episode. The Brave Adventurers. Welcome back to the next episode of Wasted. This game is utterly ridiculous. This game is insane and I'm greatly enjoying it. So welcome all back in. In the previous episode we had talked to Henry Kissinger who was apparently Dick Nixon's dick. His literal dick became Henry Kissinger. And he sent us on a quest to scout people so that his dick could have hair. I don't know. This is a weird game like that. You really don't know where it's going to come. And then we're also looking for some guy's girlfriend's areola. I have no clue. We're supposed to go to Cooler CA1 again, so out we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can dive down into here. I think it is randomly generated each time around. So, Cool Air Evacuation Colony CA1. No unauthorized access. You would assume that would be... Well, I mean, that would just be assumed to my mind. Like, it doesn't really matter. If you've got a thing, you probably... Yeah, buddy. God, I love this gun. This gun is great. Oh, we got a scalp. It's a little bloody tuft of hair. Hooray. We needed 25 of those, and we ain't leaving until we get some. There's a bear trap on the floor right there, and I just barely, av yeah. barely avoided it with my jump skills. Got a point niner, an easy breather right there. Nothing that I really want, though. So it looks like, oh, I auto get the scalps. Okay, so you just had to have a stack in your inventory first for that to work. Got some taters and stuff inside of there. I do think they need more room variations. I would go back through. If I was the developer at this point, I would probably line up, I don't know, 20, 30 more room kinds. Just kind of get them into the rotation, I guess. Your tinkering score is not good enough. All right then, well, I'm just gonna knock the gun over. She's probably going to do something similar over here. Let's get the Chick Chick reloaded. Got a Rat-a-Tat tap. We've got a Raider Cold shoulder, but nothing much else. Got to get... God, shotgun does work. This thing handles enemies, I'll tell you that much. We've got... So we can carry 100 ammo in a stack. Now would probably be the time then to start using some of this pistol ammo. Since we're going through shotgun ammo pretty rapidly. What's going on in here? Anything that matters, but you need two boom boxes for it, because then you get that echoey effect. I don't know, I like that echoey effect when there's multiple radios on it. it. Bothers me. We haven't taken any damage yet, so that means we can just keep on forging ahead. Hopefully the SOBs don't show up and try to ruin our life anytime soon. God. Apparently Butch Babylon done got himself critated. We her straps in there, although frankly their fluids are all over the wall, so I think we got out a little bit better. What do we spend TP on aside from... I thought maybe we'd be able to find like a store or something in town. But it seems to me as though the only things available for purchase are like liquor in between... In between fights, which is cool. Like I can make that work for me. Oh, we made it through there with a quickness. Alright, floor one is apparently all over with. I'll probably try to make it down as far as I can on this one without bailing out. Once ammo starts to look a little bit scarce, that guy's foot is propelling him through the air. He's got like one jet on one foot Iron Man style. I don't know if you saw that on the load screen. Go back and look if you want. Uh, not that big of a deal. It looked like he had mastered the pedicle flight. Oh, it's a dog. And now it's dead. Asuka, you in here anywhere? I was sent to look for you. Apparently, you are precious to somebody. Not me, obviously, but somebody. There we go. And then I'll crouch under that. We've got a can opener door. I can break this open. Exactly. So now that we broke on through to the other side, I think I can still break on through. Yup. Easy enough. We got a suicide guy in here. Oh, with armor. Okay. This is what these guys in the caveman speak. Ooga booga. Always jumping out after me. Got a little bit of ammo left, but frankly, I think we spent more ammo on that one than we actually got out, which is bad. I don't like that at all. Let's go ahead and use one of these excess meta stems. Oh my god. There was the biggest chunk of cat hair in my nose ever. This entire episode, the last five minutes, my nose has just been itching like, what is liquid bread? Heals 10 HP. Nearly dead need to be fed. Gun to your head. Try liquid bread. Number one survivalist bread. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Might be helpful. Hate to tell you this, pal, but your addiction to explosives is really going to have kind of a 
malignant effect on your long-term survival. There's a rocket in there. Ammo for... We can get rocket launchers. Dude, then why are we dicking around with all this lame stuff? We found a treasure room, though. That's pretty cool. And some buckshot. That's good, because I absolutely need buckshot. We got the tripping hazard over here. For the chick chick. Man, we are ready to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I ducked it, so it's okay. Almost got me. I got that M1 Garand sound. It's like, pink, 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 but ting. That door is inaccessible. You're now dead. What's in this flask? Let's drink it. Why not? We have decreases. We got a case of the dooms. Unfortunately, our brains has done been hurt. Got bruised brandy. Take 10% more damage from... Why would you drink that? That's a terrible plan. Nothing that I really wanted in there. At this point, I don't remember where we came from. I'm assuming the left would be the answer to that question. But this puts us fairly close to having the SOBs after us pretty soon. And so in order to keep myself from getting annihilated by guys with way better gunplay than I have. Let's move as quickly through here as we can. I will look for lockers and other treasures, but take the rifle ammo for storage till later. It's a tripping hazard right there, although I think that's understating its understating its accomplishments when it manages to go up. Wow, there's a room full of dogs in here that all gotta go, and they've all got toilet paper with them. Every single dog appears to have a massive stock of toilet paper. Ooh, pooping pills. Hell yeah. Pooping pills are amazing. Pooping pills are what it's all about. They allow you to eat food. If you didn't watch the previous episodes, shame on you, but the pooping pills make it so the food goes through you instantly, so you can, like, back-to-back -back eat food. It's pretty sweet. It's something that I would highly recommend keeping a decent stock of. Uh, the stray mutamut. We, unfortunately, I'm gonna drink this right here and hopefully I don't get yet another case of the dumbs. Do the dumbs stack? No, sight unseen, my crosshair is hidden. Damn it, I'm gonna shoot by feel here. The shoot using my feelings, girl. Only with my feelings, so many feelings for you. Ooh. I don't see him that way, so maybe we're good. You know what? Forget this door. We ain't got time for these shenanigans. Oh my god. They are everywhere. Luckily, I don't really need to apply myself much to win in these gunfights. I just kind of have to point in right direction and use this thing like a cannon. Uh... Don't really see anything right there. This room appears to be somewhat useless for... Oh, more pooping pills. Hooray, pooping pills. Store those up for later. And also, I took some damage, so we should probably throw a meta stim on that. Like shit is going down in here. Oh well, problem solved. Luckily, the Brotherhood of Steel coming after you is not actually that bad. It only sucks if you end up searching a side of the dungeon that is not fruitful. A katana. It makes the cut. Ignores 50% of armor, bleeds on critical, does 10 to 12 DPS. 5 to 10, 5 to 6. Yeah. I feel like I need a katana. That'll up my game. It'll make my life easier. Let's take the meta stems real fast because we have loads of them anyways. I'll eat some bread because I've got the pooping pills. That'll be my new one item. Oh, we got a katana now. So this would be precisely the type of situation that would get you into trouble with the Brotherhood. Got Bookshot and Power Packs. I don't know what I can drop here in order to make this work, but we absolutely need the Bookshot. 
Guess I'll get rid of that. We need to hustle, though. Oh, we've got to go back so far. Yeah, we might have to double back around him. Okay, so we're going to have to sneak around him on that side. So what I need to do is bait him into this room. And as soon as he comes As soon as he comes around the horn right here. Our goal becomes to sweep around him as fast as possible. Alright. There we go. I need him in that hallway. So that he doesn't double back on himself. And as long as I hustle, we should be able to get around him. Basically, because I don't have a crosshair, and this gun shoots slightly to the right. I need to make sure that I'm at point blank range whenever I fight with dudes. We'll use that right now. Straight through our inventory, get ourselves healed up, keep on running, and we should be out of here shortly. Luckily, things don't seem to hurt you too much. Brass knuckles right there. I do want the treasure just in case there's anything good in here. All right. You know, I don't really care that much. Let's go ahead and run the boundary right now. We're pretty much full on everything anyways. So let's get down to the next part of the evacuation shelter. Pretty cool little pick up and play game. I'm liking it so far. I like how they made the mines. Like if you were if you were quick enough in Fallout, you could run from the mines and not get hit by them. Making it a tad more difficult here. I don't think you can block a shotgun shell with your arms. Eat some junk filled. I got I got pooping pills in my system right now, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Buckshot, good. My hope is that we can sort of speed run this. I got a case of the dumbs right now, so I can't turn off any of the traps. And that's a literal thing in game. Oh my god, stop shooting over his head. Like, I feel like I'm pointing right at him, and it just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. And now I'm low on ammo again, and I gotta use my pop gun. Buckshot right there. Hey, kind of an aiming malfunction. Courier box can be means to and from a cooler. Okay, so let's put in... The scalps. And maybe the liquid bread. Probably won't be using the katana anytime soon. And that'll do it for right now. Although that box is like a real hazard. It needs to be moved a bit. Kind of turn me into what? Slight variation on the turn down for what formula. Turn into what? It's a song about mutation. Uh, I think we're good. Not seeing a lot of loot that's jumping out at me either. So do I have to go all the way down to the bottom of this thing in order to unlock the next dungeon? Or how does that all play out, I'm wondering? Case of the Dumbs is probably messing with me right there, so I'm not even going to mess with it. You know, every flask I've drank so far has been a terrible idea. I'm just going to stop. I don't think you're supposed to drink those until you get down to a certain level of the dungeon. Give me some bullets. Yeah, I'll take a metastim. There might be a little bit too much loot in the game, actually. I'm finding that it's not super challenging. Maybe it's just because I haven't gotten deeper down into the dungeon yet, but... I've yet to find anything that's made me go, Oh shit, we ain't going to make it. Yeah. 
most rooms seem to be like get to a choke point when they walk through the door spray and pray and you'll be pretty solid no ammo right there we got rifle ammo that already went off I think yeah both of those did he said as he walked in front of it idiotically hopefully we don't have to double back right here that'll totally suck oh good we made it to the end we've got the pistol right there meta stim on that side so what do we have going on right now the aimless ale your accuracy is reduced you take 10 percent more damage weakness whiskey lowers your maximum hp by one the explosive sidecar killing enemies makes them explode but don't they give you something good on the hangover like the next day so like what if i drink the weakness whiskey and 99 hp isn't so bad i didn't really want to go back up to the surface though i forgot about that facet So what hangover does it give me? And how would I check that? So weakness whiskey and the head split are heffy wizen. And it looks like those stack. Oh, that is the hangover that it gives you. So I thought it gave you the negative effect and then the next day you get the, uh, okay. It's expected. I mean, eh, sometimes you learn, sometimes you don't. Ah, well, such is life. We've got Kissinger's crotch carpet, so we should bring that over to him. Let's jump outside and see if we can give that a little delivery today. We did sign up to be a courier, after all. So with the 25 scalps, we'll take those. Let's drive this over to the Oni Express terminal. We'll turn it in so that Kissinger can get himself all nice and murkined on up. It's a murky situation, giving another man a, well... He's a head dick. Oh, there is something right there. It looks like the shop is only open during the day, like, though. Like, hey, welcome to the mall. Well, like, my name is Vulture Val, and, like, I run the store on behalf of my gang, the Culture Vultures. A totally ick name, for sure. But my girls and I provide the Western Waste with, like, the best, um, recollected junk for, like, the lowest prices. All right, what do you have to trade? Like, this is totally the best stuff Tiki can buy. All right, show me your wares. What do we got going on here? We got the Disc Joy, a portable music player that can read music and data off discs and tune into radio stations. You can listen to the radio, and you get plus one to your carry limit. I would like Buckshot. A lot of it. And then I... I could sell her a doozy so that I could I could find another one easy enough and we could just run with the chick chick for a little bit. Yeah, sell her the doozy. We can get another one. And she doesn't appear to have much else going on. I can also sell her that fashion mag. Like, Tell me about yourself, Vulture Val. Like, if you're trying to ask me out, dream on, dweeb. But, in case that you're, like, actually interested... I come from a place just outside of Junktown called Vulture Valley. I like come up here to the Oni Express to like sell the stuff that I take off the dead wasters that my girls um, like find in the Western Waste. <laughs> well, the Culture Vultures are totally the biggest, baddest, and totally most beautiful gang to come out of Vulture Valley. What kind of work do you do? Like, we were totally devastated after the bombs brought down the mall, but, like, that's when we totally realized malls were so 80s. I mean, like, dead people aren't going to care if you take their clothes off and stuff, because they're, like, dead. And if anyone does care about their dead friends, we can, like, totally blow them away with all the weapons we took off from some other dead loser. And then we can, like, totally take their stuff, too. Isn't that rad? Hell yeah. But like, we're most definitely not like those butt ugly raider dweebs. We'd like much rather trade with other wasters than like waste them. I mean, ruin a cute outfit with blood and bullet holes? As if. God. Now that we've concluded this conversation that will intellectually shake the foundations of the philosophical system for the coming ages. Uh, let's, let's continue. What you got going on, Mayday? What's the mixer of the day? Oh, regenerating skin. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Well, 
I didn't read the name of the last one. I thought you would just give it to me when I paid you. Me tough Quila. Today's mixer of the day. Good so far. Let's have it blended sounds great. Whoa, that packs a punch. Don't it, though? Our booze is culled straight from the sewer stills of Barstown. Think less craft microbrew and more crap micropoo. But don't oh worry. The Barstown brewers filter out the solids before they barrel the stuff up. Most of them, anyways. Truth be told, the booze we got on tap here isn't as fresh as the stuff you can find in the cooler. Ain't no denying that. And I'd be lying if I told you our drinks are more booze than water. Still, considering the risks of cooler running, well, some folks don't mind the trade-off. Of course, there are those who come here to get a buzz going before they go on a cooler run proper. But I ain't here to tell you how to enjoy our booze. I'm just here to pour it. So what can I get you? I think we're good. I think we're solid. We got things happening. Let's go talk to Kissinger and see if we can maybe get him murkened up and see what our reward is going to be. Maybe access to another cooler. Dude looking for his wife back at the Oni. This is a problem shared. This is a problem have. Or in this case, reduced by two thirds. So what's on your mind? If it's something big, don't tell us, since technically we'll be taking on the majority of the problem. I'm retired, you inconsiderate brat. Uh, kiss and jerk about the private matter. It is done. It is done. Splendid. <laughs> yes, I feel a new confidence swelling within me. It is a token of my appreciation. The Western Romancer hat. We just received a hat as a quest reward from a dick. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay, so it gives you a ton of obliteration, tinker, and sneak. But it's not so great for your shooting skills. Okay, it doesn't fit our build, but it's still a pretty cool item. We could take it back to our base and drop it off. Dude looking for his wife back at the Oni. Wonder who's running the skellies. Yes, I also wonder this factoid of which I know nothing. Hail, brave hunters. Dude looking for his wife back at the Oni. That mustache, man. I don't think it'd be so bad if it wasn't for the guy liner, but the mustache and the guy liner is worrying. Let's go back home. We'll store some stuff up, and I'm pretty sure this is the end of our episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Wasted! If you wanted to get the game for yourself, I got a linky for you down below, so give it a click. Work that finger. Work that finger so hard right now. I will see you all in the next episode of What is to Come as we chick-chick-boom more foes into the earth. Bye, everybody.